Hi guys, you welcome back to Web Technologies. Uh, we're still on Laravel for Beginners. We'll be looking at the layout files uh, in which we'll be discussing how to create a layout file in Laravel. Right there, we're still on the route where we get to um, set up the route for the home page and for the services page right there. So we'll be creating layer files which are basic boilerplates for your wrapping HTML. You know, it's just uh, a way of not repeating yourself, which is a very uh, important uh, logic in any programming uh, application or in any programming language. You just uh, minimize uh, the amount that you repeat yourself in uh, doing the same thing. So with a layout file, you're actually going to reduce this and I will be showing you how to create a layout file and integrate with uh, the pages that you are going to use in your application. So we're going to be creating a layout files in the view where we go to the resources views. So we'll be creating a layout files where let us create a new file. Let's call it layout dot blade dot php. Enter it. Now you have your layout file. So right there in the welcome page, I'll be taking away a lot of stuff. So that is just going to be a simple HTML page. Let's take away this and let's take away the style sheet. The better style sheet. Let's take away this as well. So let's maintain this structure. Let's save this out. Let's maintain the structure. And I'm going to be copying all these from the welcome page to the layout page. Now you're going to have this uh, kind of uh, outlay. So for you to extend or for you to uh, inflate a particular session in your view, you need to use the at yield you call it content at yield content you save this out uh, this is just an identifier for a section you create in your view so you're going to maintain this and uh, you get to see how to uh, call different yields in uh, the pages you actually are uh, using. So let's do our first uh, extend, which is actually going to sit to the welcome blade. So what we're going to do here, uh, we're going to we're going to first of all, we're going to take away all this. Let's take away all this. Give you all this. Uh, you're going to first of all call the extents bracket layout, which is the the layout file. Afterwards, you're going to create a session. A section which is let's do it this way section the content you will end it with a stop does this way now in your section let's, let's give it more space can easily type in HTML tag just h1 right in welcome page so this actually going to depict the section uh, of the content you're passing in based on the yield content that you use. So, in a nutshell, this welcome page 
will actually uh, inherit all other functionalities from the layout, which is the head, uh, the HTML tag, the document type, any other functionality right in the layout blade, uh, because you've actually yielded the content, and the, and the welcome blade actually extends the layout, so it's actually going to um, inherit all uh, HTML files, JavaScript, CSS, that is sitting right on the layout blade, and inside this content that you yielded out, so you actually create the H1 tag, which is right in welcome page, which is going to be unique alone for the welcome blade.php. Let's get to look at this. Uh, so you act, you have to launch a terminal. Uh, well, we're going to change directory to the new project, which is the project directory of this. And we call on PHP artisan serve. Now we're going to open this in the browser. Let's see how it flows and the Mozilla Firefox and uh, we're going to see how it's going to look like. Can you see this? We do right in the welcome page. So that's just the structure. Uh, it's actually uh, inherits all functionalities from the layout files. So let's get to uh, look at the source which is the developer section. Uh, let's see the source. Uh, if you should see the source, you can see you, it's, it's actually having the head, uh, the link, href, and also the body. So let's go back, just a step backwards uh, to the layout blade. Let's take away the, the font, which is the Google font, and you will see it's actually going to affect uh, the you see it's actually going to affect uh, the, uh, the the structure of the welcome page. So refresh now. Can you see it's gone? Uh, the Google font is gone and this is just uh, a kind of uh, basic approach to using uh, the layout file in actually modifying or making your programming look like right ones and you're going to uh, because now if you need to edit the header you just go straight down to your header section and you make the edit let's undo this bag and save up so now you can still uh, have something of this nature probably you want to inflate the header called attitude At you, oh, you can have it. Oh, you can have it somewhere here. The other can. At you, either, and you can also have footer somewhere here. At you, put. Let's save this out right there. So now let's uh, try it on our services page. You know we have a service page. So the same thing we've done to the welcome page. We're gonna uh, replicate it for our service. Let's copy it out. And our services page is nested right inside the pages subfolder so we're gonna select or paste it out there uh, I'm very sure it's actually going to uh, so we're going to do a modification to the layout because it's staying right inside a sub directory so we have to point it appropriately let's do the back a slash dot dot that is going to take a step outwards and we have to change the h1 tag let's call it services let's save this out there and let's go back to our browser and uh, let's go to the services page as it's been rendered can you notice right in the services page and let's go look at the source developer page source 
so following the structure of the previous page which is uh, the the um the home page so that's fine that's uh, that's cool that's what we actually needed now if we want to uh do something uh different probably in the header tag as i've mentioned earlier here uh let's do that uh in the let's mention that let's do that in the the welcome blade at section colon Error. Also create the error. So use the add stop to actually stop it out. And let's say um let's use the H two on H two. Um, let's say uh, writing some PHP in Laravel save it out and uh, we go to let's go back to the services blade now this time it's not going to be the header it will be the footer so we are just trying to use different functionality here about what we say footer let's go back now, use your at stop now let's create an alert install as javascript first of all use our script tag Close it up. Alert. Or well, we're going to alert. Right. In services. Page. So you will notice that this is just going to be unique to the services while the header that we created for the welcome is also going to be unique to the welcome page. So let's get to look at that in the browser. Let's go back. Let's take it off. Let's go back to the first. Can you see writing some PHP in Laravel? That's the header. So let's go to the services. You see the alert right in services page. So for a full-blown application, I will employ you to use a layout file in Laravel. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.